Prize catch, analytics real results for marketers. No overthinking required, where do you fish? Answer, where the fish are. It's a literal lesson for the sport and a figurative lesson for when the job is reaching and reeling in customers. The initial principle, go where the fish are, is obvious. The tricky part is discovering the best location to drop your lines and maximize success. This is the difference between using analytics and not. A company could forego data and merely guess where they should place their message, but is the digital equivalent of wandering. Analytics are a company's GPS in pinpointing where customers' eyes are. And where they are is primarily in front of their smartphones. A Millard Brown report tallied the daily number of phone screen consumption at 151 minutes televisions run a close second at 147 minutes, followed by personal computers at 103, and tablets at 43. Now you know where the fish are. Take it a step further with an updated version of the advice, fish where the fish are going to be. Marketing analytics, why that great email doesn't really matter. The ability to predict the next market separates good from great companies, and, when it comes to customers, one area to focus attention is the communication patterns of teenagers. They might not be your buyers now, but their parents are, and parents are influenced by how their kids engage with technology. On a daily basis, it looks like this, texting, 55%. Instant messaging, 27%. In person, 25%. Social media, 23%. Talking on phone, 19%. Message apps, 14%. Video gaming, 13%. Video chatting, 7%. Email, 6%. Source, Pew Research Center. These numbers don't mean you should drop email and pour all of your budget into texting, but teens are giving a heads up to the future of marketing and engagement. Note the direction and start incorporating changes. Keep in mind, it's not all about direct marketing. Be sure to also message them with relevant, contextual opportunities that show you're interested in them as an individual, outside of a direct sell. Don't forget about millennials. They are both your customers and your employees. They interact differently than other generations, and it's crucial that you learn how to engage with them. You can start doing this with a simple, impactful move, check out your website. If there isn't a live chat option for customer support, there should be. This ties back to how people communicate. Teens don't prefer the phone, 19%, remember? 50% of millennials will use a cell phone to make or receive a call, but only 13% will do so on a business landline, according to Gallup. Millennials are not opposed to needing help, or asking for it. Assistance simply should be available in a way that complements how they work. Often, it's in an open floor office that's noisy and offers no privacy. A real-time support option that doesn't involve talking, or having to hear the answer, allows them to engage freely with you. It also lets your customers, your current, and your future workforce know that your company is flexible. It's responsive. It knows how people interact, and isn't beholden to an approach just because it's how things have always been done. It's a lure that will be difficult to resist.